you saw a Japanese yen hitting supply, just like I said with the dollar. Okay, you see supply up here? This could propel price to the downside. How's it going fellow traders? Magic Trader here. And once again, we're going to take a look at the positions held by the big institutions, which were submitted last week to the CFTC and uh, was released on Friday, uh, May 10th, 2022. So here's a brief snapshot of the institution's positions as of that date. And like we always do, let's start by taking a look at gold. What do we see here? we see more profit taking on long positions. Now, is that not what we've been talking about? Is that not what we said was going to take place before it took place? It's exactly what we said. And now if you take a look at the uh, situation with gold, take a look, big drop in price. Are we that surprised? Okay, we're not surprised. This is what we forecasted. This is what we said what would happen. We gave you the logic behind why it would happen and it's come true. Okay, you remember the big arrows that we put here? Okay, red arrow. This is when price was up here. We put a red arrow, price is gonna drop and we put this arrow, price is gonna drop down here. Okay, and the forecast has played out to perfection. So what do we see right now? They closed off their long positions, reducing them from highs of 338,000 down to 288,000. And what are we seeing with short positions? Slightly increasing shorts, right? Over the last few weeks, if you take a look, 83, 90, 92, 94, 95, slight increase in shorts. So uh, there you have it. We do suspect that over the longer term, price will continue. And over the very long term, price will continue lower. There is a chance of a push to the upside shorter term. So uh, this is something that you should be aware of going into the next couple weeks. Okay, oil, what do we have uh, with long positions? They uh, dropped them from 419 to 415 and they increased uh, their shorts from 97 to 104. And so if you take a look at the weekly chart, what we can see is that uh, they've pretty much been keeping price within a range, okay? This range we've been talking about for some time, and we suspect that price will be kept in this range uh, for uh, a longer period of time until it breaks out of this range, either to the upside or to the downside. And we believe that the evidence is gathering that over the longer period of time, we'll see that uh, push to the downside. US dollar so strong, so strong. Look, look at those, look at those positions, okay? Look at the long positions. 49, 46, they slightly dropped them down here and then they put them back up to 49,000. If we look at shorts, they're not really doing anything with their short positions. And, you know, rightly so. We wouldn't be expecting them to do anything with their short positions. But look at the monthly chart. Very big push to the upside. Very big push to the upside, surpassing these highs over here. And this is very strong for the dollar. The only thing is, is that up in this area, we are coming into institutional, um, an institutional selling area. This is an area that we would likely see uh, a drop in price form from. Okay. So this is something going into next week that I will be paying attention to. And I think you should be as well, okay? When we look at the weekly chart, we see a big, strong push to the upside, weekly trend to the upside. We've been forecasting this for quite some time, and it has played out beautifully. Okay, Aussie US dollar, we had a price drop. Uh, we had the increase in short positions by the institutions, which is what helped push and fuel the move to the downside. When we take a look at the short positions on Aussie, we can see that they've been increasing them. 74, 75, 78,000. Very aggressive, okay? We've been talking about how short positions have been aggressive for quite some time. We saw them take profits on those short positions, which caused them uh, the rally up in price here. And then they started to reaccumulate those short positions, which caused the push to the downside, all right? So uh, next is, you know, we see... Uh, price can continue, um, the uh, positions can continue higher, which would cause price to drop. 
you see that, you know, back uh, in January and March, we had 100,000, 97,000. We're only at 78,000, so they could push it even higher. One thing I will uh, point out is that we have uh, price um, contacting areas where we might be seeing reversals, all right? Talking about the dollar, I showed you what happened there. Uh, looking at gold, okay, very good chance that we see uh, a reversal uh, form there. So it's something to uh, pay attention to and be aware of going into next week because although we got a really nice drop in price recently, it could be time for a reversal and a push to the upside. All right. Now we have the U.S. CAD. And just like with the uh, U.S. dollar, we, we knew that this was going to be uh, rallying up. We knew that the dollar was going to be strong and that was going to help you will uh, move to the upside on this one. Uh, likewise, with the dollar, we are getting price uh, hitting an area that might start to get price to reverse from okay this is an institutional area of supply that we drew a long time ago a long time ago two years ago roughly a year and a half ago price just caught to that area so now we're going to have pressure to the downside start to form and remember what i said about the dollar that we could see more downside building on here okay so this is something that we got to pay attention to all right. So um, supplies being contacted. We take a look at the positions. What do we see? They're starting to uh, get long positions into a little bit more aggressive territory uh, after this rally. Uh, and they've been closing off their short positions. So in, in terms of positions, we're not seeing anything very clear. But in terms of the institutional supply and demand, we should be aware that we could start to see a reversal form from U.S. dollar uh, Swiss franc. Big increase, 17, 18, and from 18 to 20,000 uh, on their long positions. Uh, short positions are still cooled off. We see that price is contacting an institutional area of supply here on the weekly chart. And again, with that pressure coming into play, we might start to see a move to the downside form. All right, Euro. Look at that big increase in longs, 208 to 228,000. And uh, we're starting to see a little bit of profit taking on short positions. So remember what I said about the dollar. Watch for a reversal. Institutional demand in play. Okay. And they're increasing longs. We could start to see a push up in price just like that. Pound. Um, demand is coming into play. Uh, short positions, very aggressive. Uh, they're starting to take some profits on that. But recently they just added back because they went from 110 to 107 and they put on another 2000. Uh, so, um, you know, we're not seeing anything strong with long positions, but because we have this weekly area of demand in play, I wouldn't be surprised if we see price start to rally from those lows. Uh, US dollar Japanese yen hitting supply, just like I said with the dollar. Okay, you see supply up here. This could propel price to the downside. Uh, long positions, very aggressive. They could get even more aggressive, but very aggressive. 121,000 versus very cooled off positions to the short side. So profit taking, especially with 92% long exposure, is very likely in the coming weeks. Okay. And Kiwi, we got a strong uh, short position. 22, 24, 28 longs are cooled off. And we have our monthly target being contacted down here on the weekly chart, which was at 62.27. We posted this um, sometime back in early 2022, and it has finally come into contact. OK, so in terms of positions, I mean, we're expecting reversals. So wouldn't be surprised if over the next weeks, few weeks, we start to see long positions start to pile up again. All right, ladies and gents, that's pretty much it. If you have a chance, hit the like, subscribe button, and the notifications. That way you get future videos sent to you. I would appreciate it. The community appreciates. And uh, hopefully we can get the analysis to you um, so you can make some good trading decisions. If you want to know more about our school and how we do our analysis, you can reach us at www.whiteoakfx.com. Thanks for another session. We'll talk to you later. Bye.